So a couple of holes in there using the uh, countersink drill bit and then it looks like the head of that is a Torx T25 so let's shove that in and then I'm just going to hold these together by hand I think uh, and uh, do up these screws and hope it all just pulls in nice and tight. Well it's not perfect but I think it's probably good enough. Right let's do the other three. Now the next thing is how am I going to uh, fix these solar panels to this frame and I think I'm going to go for the easy option of just putting a screw into the wood I've marked a hole here and then attempting to locate the solar panel these holes in the solar panel over the screw so I don't want the screws to be too big so let's just drill it and shove them in and see what we get so more screws from Lidl uh, this uh, set of chipboard screws and let's shove them in well that's worked fine the panel has uh, locked in onto the screws on the beam. My only concern is that uh, as this wooden frame changes shape over the winter, which it inevitably will, that this thing will kind of get trapped. But I think because there's enough bow in these uh, cross members I should be able to get it off one way or another. Right, let's get the other one on. Of course what's happened now is I've put this panel uh, on the wrong side and you think, wouldn't you, that these two panels are identical, the holes would be the same, but uh, no, this one has a single hole at each corner and this one has pairs of holes so I'm going to have to do that again. Now interestingly this one is a clear, wasp, clear skies with a C and this one is a clear skies 2000 with a K. That's strange. So there it is, both panels mounted onto the uh, rectangular section at the top just hanging on screws uh, located into those keyways. They should stay put. Um, I don't think they would fall off. They're reasonably well locked. Now all I've got to do now is lift this thing up and uh, lean it up against that hedge there. I don't think leaning it against the hedge is a permanent solution. I think I'll make it freestanding with uh, some more uprights. But uh, let's just get it up there and see what it looks like. Yes, well, it's uh, there and it's up. But it all looks a bit fragile and uh, thinking about sort of heavy winds in the winter I'm not entirely sure. Certainly I think it needs rear supports so I'll use some more of those uprights. I'll need some hinges at the top for that. I'll probably brace it using just wire because I don't really want to cross brace the whole thing in timber. That just seems a bit of a waste. Uh, that left hand panel is looking a little bit uh, like it's been pushed off, yes it has. I've lent it against the hedge and it's partially come off so I might have to think about additional securing for that. I've got a bracket idea for that. So I've had a couple of these short angle brackets and it looks like they would fit uh, behind the panel. Hang on, let me put that one on the ground. So that one would fit there. Locking the panel... What's stopping that going in? No. Well anyway, locking the panel uh, onto, and of course it would be around this side. Yes, that does seem to fit. That would lock the panel onto that bar. I'd only need probably one top and one bottom. Uh, if I position that correctly, that should lock it on. So I think that'll work. I didn't really want to spend too much money on this, but uh, I think it's going to mean a trip to B&Q. Uh, what's the time? Another quick check of battery voltage. Well, that's interesting. Both panels are in full sun at the moment, facing directly towards it, and we've only got 12.9. And there's actually no load on this at all. Not sure what's going on there. Well, it's nice and warm in the car. Very warm, in fact. Uh, sometimes I wonder why I start these projects. It's all a bit mad, really. Still, in for a penny. So, B&Q High Wickham. Let's see if they've got the bits I need. God, the prices in here are outrageous. Pound a meter for this quite flimsy little wire. So I'm going to have to spend five pounds on five meters of that. Five ninety-eight for two hinges, thirty-eight mil. Oh, that's four forty-five for two seemingly identical hinges. We'll get those then. Well, no doubt you could get this stuff a lot cheaper online, but. And you just need it immediately. This is all that you've got, really. Well, it's uh, actually getting quite big now. Those are the uh, 
rear supports uh, attached with the hinges so they will fold over and uh, act as the rear supports. Now I need to put uh, a cross piece across there so I'll use the technique of filling the two screws in the countersunk holes again. Well now I'm getting bored so uh, the bodgery has started just sort of random cross beams stuck on at any angle to uh, basically make this thing stable because it is all a bit rickety so let's just shove all this wood on and finish the job and uh, there she is and uh, I think she's a thing of real beauty really sturdy now that uh, she's got all this cross bracing on so I think it's time to uh, get this thing into position and uh, stick the solar panels on it so there we are the complete winter ready system uh, two panels 80 watt panels up there the right hand one connected to my 12 volt project battery left hand one connected along with the 100 watt panel up on the fence there to the solar shed which of course has the cables in it which run back to my battery bank now I'm not sure what the wife's going to say about this uh, yet I think we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it oh I've just remembered I need to uh, put those securing brackets on the back of the panels. I've only got two so I'll have to put them at the top I think. So these two brackets, that one there and that one there, should stop the panels moving forwards off their screws so that should hold them on if it gets windy. So uh, maybe I'll mow the lawn as a, a peace offering. Yeah that should do it. Now I'm just going to have a final check of the uh, voltage of the batteries inside. Let's uh, put the um, flap down, that's the rain stroke sun cover to uh, keep the batteries out of both. Hmm, well after all that we're still at 12.9 but I think over the next few days that will start to creep up and uh, those batteries will become fully charged. So get rid of that hideous monstrosity were her actual words but I think that's open to interpretation. I think I'm going to take that to mean it can stay there for the winter. So job done. Cheerio.